Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm back again for another karting video. So today, we are back at Clay Pigeon Raceway for the fourth and final round of the IKR series. Uh, this is the Spring Series. So obviously, we've got the same tyres as what we do last time, last round, in round three. I actually didn't do any vlogging on this day because I was actually too busy. I actually work on the car and actually having to, you know, get the car prepared and everything. So I actually completely forgot about vlogging, so all I really done was um, the recording on the GoPro and the helmet cam which I'll add in and just make mix it up a little bit. So I apologise about that, but next time I will start vlogging again and I will remember to. So I hope you enjoy this video anyway and let's jump straight into it then. So first of all we have qualifying then as we jump in the cart for the first time of the day then. And we, as you can see, wait for a little bit just for people to go off a bit so we can actually have a bit of clean air. Obviously you don't want to be getting blocked up on your best laps. So we head out off the pits now then with massive clean air which is good to see. And obviously I struggled to warm up the tyres quickly so I just had to watch out for that. Obviously because I went out pretty late a lot of people were catching up with me. Now we start our first hot lap now as we run down towards turn 1. As you can see we do have someone just ahead of us. Hopefully he shouldn't be too much of a problem, he's keeping up pretty decent pace with us so it shouldn't be a problem at all as we head through the S's down at the second mini straight then towards the hairpin section. We've really got to watch out and you can easily go a bit wide there and actually bog out off the corner so you really want to watch out for that. Through the horseshoe then very nicely. Now we cut to the quick right hander here, flat easy, around the final corner then for the first time and that is going to be our first lap, pretty slow to say the least. But we will carry on pushing and see if we can get any better than that as we cut the towards uh, the middle of the session now. As as you can see, we're just trying to run the curbs a little bit more, trying to get a bit more time out of the cart. So obviously, it can go a bit quicker, but we're just struggling so much at the moment. As you can see, coming out the hairpin, we do get a pretty decent exit out of there. Could have ran it a little bit wider, so I guess we'll have to try that for next time. As we cut towards the end of the session now, as you can see, come through the S's. Still managing to get a little bit quicker, but not quick enough. Now we'll cut to the literal final lap then as we start the lap now. Run down towards turn 1, taking it pretty decently there. I could have probably taken it a little bit tighter and not kicked the back end out as much. But now we head through the S's, taking the S's pretty nicely. Again, we could have probably gone out a little bit wider, so taking a little bit more speed into the corner. But nevertheless, we head down towards the hairpin, get a very good exit out of the hairpin section. You don't want to run too wide out of that one. Now you come through the horseshoe very nicely and through here we actually get a lot more closer to the curb and actually take it much better than my first lap as we throw it in towards the final corner, run out nice and wide, down the start from the straight for the final time and that is qualifying over and that was actually our best lap time there of the session so we managed to just improve but sadly it was only P15 with a 35.6 so not the best lap in the world but I guess we got some work to do for heat one then so let's just jump straight into heat one and hopefully that'll go a little bit better so here we go for heat one then as we've got the helmet cam running now as well as the regular gopro on top of the radiator box as you can see there's a kid on the right there who actually waves at the camera as i'm leaving the pit lane a uh, massive legend uh he actually came up to me a bit later on and actually recognized me from my youtube channel obviously so i really appreciate you guys actually coming up and saying hello if you do recognise me out on the track or anything, just come say hello. You know, I'm always down to have a chat. I love karting just as well as anyone that's here on the day. But nevertheless, so, we go racing here for Heat 1, down towards Turn 1, keeping it nice and clean for once, which is very nice to say the least, as we're going to try to stick on the back of Kart 20 as best as possible here. Through the S's, I actually got a pretty terrible exit to say the least. As you can see, Kart 20 actually pulls away a little bit, and then we get sent down the inside in towards the hairpin section get overtaken by Kart 68 there but we do get ahead of another guy who went massively wide through the hairpin so we lost the position but also gained the position so can't complain too much as he goes completely wide here through the kink section as we're thinking about sending it down the inside into the final corner but back out as luckily we did or else he would have turned straight into me and probably would have ended both our races down towards turn one as you can see someone else sends it down inside of me another guy that's literally doing this one round and is on brand new tyres so it's quite hard to keep up with the people on brand new tyres but nevertheless I was trying to push as best as possible and as you can see Kart 12 sends it down inside of me very rudely here and actually turns straight into me there and pushes me massively out wide and actually makes a bit of contact there and I thought well that's a bit unfair really that he pushed me out of the way a little bit to get through so I just 
bit my timer really a little bit, tried to keep up with him as best as possible. And I was noticing mainly through the hairpin section, I was a lot quicker out of the hairpin compared to him. Through the S's, as you can see, he was a little bit quicker than me as he does pull away a little bit as someone goes completely off there and actually completely destroys himself into the barrier, which isn't ideal for him, but we're going to carry on and make a position from it. But yeah, as I was saying, as you can see, we are a little bit quicker than him out of the hairpin and through the horseshoe section, but everywhere else we're a little bit slower, as you can see, so it was a little bit of a struggle to try and keep up. Once again, another proof of it, out of the hairpin, just close up massively compared to how far back I was when we were at the S's so I think I need to try and make a move into the hairpin if it's anywhere or maybe out just out of the hairpin as my exit seems to be very good but once again I'm just closing up as best as possible trying to keep with him out of the hairpin once again much quicker than him into the horseshoe managing to gain a little bit more time and there's two people going off there and we actually managed to get down the inside of the cart 20 and make the move stick very nicely as you can see, Cart 12 got compromised a little bit there, so this could be our chance here because this is the closest we've got to him out of the whole race, so we really need to try and have a good shout here. So now as we make our way down towards Turn 1, once again, actually having a pretty decent exit and actually keeping up with him very nicely there. Then through the S's as well, he gets a little bit of a better exit, but I managed to just keep with him. So this is my one chance now, if I break really late and try and get a very good exit, maybe I can send it down the inside into the horseshoe. We're going to go down the inside into the horseshoe section and make a move stick he's going to try and come back down the inside though as you can see he doesn't leave me much space and turns into me there and I actually push out massively wide luckily I managed to come out unscathed and so did he he actually almost went off into the barrier around that final corner there trying to get back around me but luckily we made the move stick very nicely I know it sounded like and looked like a bit of a dodgy move and a bit of a send from me and probably a little bit noy as we did have a bit of contact but think about it he made the move on me and pushed me a little bit wide and I think it was only fair that I also did the same treatment obviously I was on the inside and should have been given a bit of space but he just turned into me and we will get an instant replay here on the helmet cam as we get a very good exit out of the hairpin send it down inside of him break massively late but go massively wide because of it obviously I'm on the inside this time and he just turns into me he gets push wide because he hits my nose cone and luckily both of us come out unscathed and I managed to gain the position. Again it could be a little bit noy but I think it was a pretty clean move bearing in mind he also pushed me a little bit when he got past me. Um, sadly it didn't stay like that for the whole race and sadly he actually did try and fight back and he stuck with me pretty nicely so we'll cut to a couple corners later or a couple laps later I should say as we're coming out of the S's I get a pretty terrible exit there and coming down towards the hairpin he sends it back down inside of me pushes me wide a little bit more but it doesn't really matter too much because I knew he was going to hit past me he had the brand new tyres as you can see his cart is run by attack uh, so with a team obviously there's no chance I could really keep up but I tried my best and gave him a good fight for it and nevertheless we are going to cut on to the final lap of the race then as we head down towards the start from this straight and finish the race in P15 basically where we started really so not the greatest race um, we had a bit of a battle so it's quite interesting to say the least but I guess now we have some work to do in the pre-final so let's just cut on towards the pre-final then so here we go for the pre-final then jumping back in the cart hopefully this time we can actually try and make a couple positions rather than just maintain P15 now we head back onto the track then and like I said hopefully we'll just go through it go for a little bit of fun see what happens now we cut on to the beginning of the race then as we go green here at clay vision raceway for the pre-final got a pretty terrible start there compared to everyone else as you can see as we're going to send it in towards turn one try and take it easy as you can see someone tried to go around the outside there but because I had the inside I managed to take a bit of a quicker line and keep it luckily now we head out of the S's then and as you can see as we make it down towards the hairpin a couple people actually go into each other here and actually go flying off the track and that's uh, two positions made plus the guy that I just sent it down the inside of into the hairpin so that's three positions made straight away then a further three more people crashed off on the right there coming through out of the horseshoe so we have already made it up to P9 which is a pretty decent position straight away from P15 so I'll take that to say the least we're actually going to get a replay of that lap one just so we can see what it looked like from the helmet cam as well as we head down towards turn one then 
obviously that guy on the outside trying to make a move but doesn't quite pay off for him as we head in towards the S's now sticking on the back of cart 20 I probably could have tried to go for the send but obviously we all know what happens as we head down towards the hairpin two people go off there taking each other out we send it down the inside of the cart 20 make a move stick very nicely and then obviously coming through the horseshoe just on the right there you can see three more carts go off and actually cause a collision so that is up to p9 from p15 just on lap one obviously it was quite lucky that that all happened but you need a little bit of luck in racing obviously i've had quite a massive amount of bad luck recently so to have that much good luck is actually a massive turning point and i was actually quite thankful for it now we actually got to try and make a couple positions so and actually make some moves on track and not just get lucky Obviously we're all over the back of this car 51 just ahead of us, uh, he was a lot quicker than us in heat 1 so it'll be nice if we could try and get around him in the pre-final. His tyres will be a little bit more bedded in now so obviously they're still a lot more better than mine but we will still try and fight obviously. He is getting blocked up just by these guys ahead of us so we've got a little bit of a train going on here um, which is going to be quite interesting and we will try and battle on. We're kind of just sat on the back of this battle here and this train here. So we need to try and hopefully stay out of a collision and if there is going to be a collision hopefully I don't get caused up in it. Uh, as you can see this goes on for quite a few laps actually, pretty much all race this train is going on for. The Cart 51 is getting a little bit annoyed at this point trying to weave all over the place trying to get past this guy just ahead of him. But once again there's just no place for him to make a move and the guy's defending very nicely and still keeping a pretty decent pace. Even I'm all over the back of both of these guys now, just trying to go basically no to tell, trying to get past them. And the 51 is just trying everything to get past him, trying to scare him off the line. But as you can see, it's just not working for him. And we're all over the back of this train now, just trying to basically whoever blinks first, whoever decides to just send it and make a move. But at the moment, it's not looking doable. But the 51, if anything, is going to get past this guy eventually, surely. He just has to try and get the confidence to absolutely send it and probably the hairpin is the best time to do it but again he just backs out of it on that lap but nevertheless we'll keep with these guys and see what we can do as we head in towards yeses as you can see the car 51 is a lot more close this time to the guy just ahead of him and he decides to finally send it down the inside of him and the guy actually goes very wide there and actually I get a very good exit and decide to strike as well and actually get past him very nicely so thank you 51 for just pushing him a little bit wider and pushing him offline and actually allow me to get through as well so now we will try and again follow cart 51 see if we can get around this other guy obviously now we're up to p8 which is a very good position for us especially that we started p15 obviously we got very lucky but nevertheless we will come home in p8 and well we're going to start p8 in the final so pretty much mid pack i'll take that any day of the week uh that's pretty much like a win for me to be fair i know technically i only made two overtakes to make positions but, you know, you have to have a bit of luck in racing to actually, you know, be in the race and get a good result. Obviously, I've had a lot of bad luck, so for once, good luck for me is actually a massive change. I'm very happy. But yeah, now, I guess we just have to hopefully make it all work in the final. So we are on the grid then for the final, and this is unfamiliar scenes here. As you can see, so far up the grid compared to usual, so... I'll take that any day of the week being this far up. But anyway, we start our engines up to make our way out on track then for the final. So we get on the formation lap. Obviously, the formation lap is pretty important now for me actually. If we want to try and warm up the tyres and have a good result in this race. So we're cut on to the beginning of the race then. Obviously, you're probably thinking, wow, you're this high up. You can actually see the front of the pack here. Who's in first? How is this going to go? It could probably go really good probably be amazing probably really get a top 10 result and know it ends with someone spinning taking me out and my chain coming off so when i tried to accelerate it just didn't go anywhere obviously at this point i'm on turn one so i have a bit of time to try and get out and pull my cart as close to the barriers and far out of the way as possible and jump over the barrier massive shame to say the least I've been pretty lucky all day and then the final just turns back into bad luck and once again we'll get an instant replay from the helmet cam as you can see we go off very nicely getting a pretty decent start to say the least and they've decided to make it three wide down my inside and he ends up spinning spinning to me my chain comes off and then I can't go anywhere so I'm pretty screwed at this point so I jump out of the cart and obviously on the helmet cam you can actually see what I'm doing here turning the cart off and dragging it as close to the barrier as possible Obviously then, I just jump over the tyres and then decide to show off my parkour skills by just complete jumping the barrier there. 
at speed. But yeah, bit of a shame, but what can you do? Sadly, that was my race over, obviously. As you can see, the car's just stranded on track. Um, yeah, uh, the worst part about this is obviously it's not really a place where you can easily get the car out. So for a while, me, my dad and a couple of other guys that decided to chip in and help were actually struggling trying to get the car over the barrier here. And it was a bit difficult, obviously I've got like 20 kilos on the back of my seat, so that didn't make it any easier. Um, but massive shout out to these guys who actually let us bowl their trolley quickly just to get it off the track. And so the next class can get their race started quicker. But yeah, I'm going to this video here then. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like and subscribe. But thank you for watching, and goodbye.